So the reason the caldera took me so long to design was because I really wanted to make sure that there was nothing about it that was kind of derivative and just had been done before. The last thing I know when I'm headphone shopping is that I want to just get something that's, you know, a better version of something I already have or kind of just, you know, I hate gear swapping. And so that's part of what took so long and part of why there's so much kind of new uh, technology and also new elements to the caldera that are really interesting. You know, the first thing off the bat that, you know, I think anyone's going to notice when they pick the headphone up is just the ear pads. On any headphone, you want the pads to seal really well, but on planars, if you kind of lose that seal, there is the danger that you kind of have phase issues and you can start to hear the bass or other frequencies sound a little off. And so I really wanted to make sure we took care of that. And so the thickness of the pads are actually asymmetrical and there's a left and a right pad. And so on the right pad, you'll notice there's a little red dot on the back of the pad. And so, you know, when you're putting your pads on or taking them off, look for the red dot for the right pad and you'll know that you have the right pad going on the correct side. And the, the thing about these pads is you can kind of see, it's, it's hard to see, but the thickest part is actually down near the bottom of the pad, near the seam, so that when you put the pad on, the thickest part goes behind, right behind your ear there. And like any pad, you can rotate these so that, you know, you have the best fit. They don't have to go in a certain direction. The driver, you know, like anything, that's of course where the sound comes from in a headphone. And, you know, we're known for our dynamic driver proprietary headphones that we make at ZMF and that I've designed. So here's the Caldera driver. You know, planar drivers are a flat, you know, thing. You know, you have this, this wall that's emanating sound. When it comes down to it, it's getting just pushed right at your ear. But the problem is, is the way the planar magnetic driver is designed there's all these magnets that kind of get in the way of the driver and keep the sound from getting directly to you and you end up with all this diffraction and sound moving everywhere and that's why you know i came up with the cams technology you see the magnets are shaped like a volcano like a caldera they're they're not a v shape and they're not a rounded oval shape but they're shaped like the top of a volcano on a mountain so that there's much less surface area that is right on the driver. Most planar magnetic drivers are flat right up to the driver. And what that does is it creates it so that the traces have to be further apart from each other and so that the sound, you know, from where the traces are has to go right into that flat surface. And by having the sound once these magnets are on the driver, go up against a surface that is not flat and can push the sound outwards, you get a lot more of that airflow straight to your ear, almost you know, as if there were less magnets. Atrium damping system right there has a special airflow that we designed specifically for this driver so that the airflow is resisted at the proper speed for the driver. So we're really making sure that air is leaving that driver chamber so that we're getting the response that we want, that we want, that we want, that we want, that we want. That we want. <laughs> Thank you. 
So in comparing the sound, I think most people are gonna talk about the Caldera and how it compares to the Atrium. So let's go ahead and measure both, look at the measurements a little bit and talk about the differences between the two headphones. So what you'll see here with the Caldera is just, you know, less of that mid bass hump or that hump below 100 Hertz. And so it's kind of really a punchy, dynamic sounding headphone. I would say as far as the signature of sound, it is kind of between the Verite and Atrium as far as tonality is concerned. All right, so now we can see we have the Verite in here, we have the Caldera, and we have the Atrium. So real quick, let's get rid of the Caldera. So that is just the Verite and the Atrium. You can see uh, the main obvious major difference is a little bit more uh, presence uh, right at that 6K on the Verite and obviously, uh, you know, less upper mids in the 3 to 5K area. And then bring in the Caldera and it really is kind of between the two as far as looking at the measurements. So we take the Verite out of there, Verite open that is, and you have just the Caldera and the Atrium there. And then let's put the Verite open back in and take the Atrium out. And so now you have, uh, you know, the Caldera and the Verite shown right there. Not a perfect um, match right at 1K for the graph, but close enough to really give you an idea and that's really where the, the Caldera sits, is kind of in between the Atrium and Verite Open. And so I think, you know, looking between our open headphones, between these three and the Atrium, um, the Verite Open and the Caldera, you, you're definitely getting three different unique tonalities in these headphones that don't completely cross over to each other. So they, they make a good complement to each other for open headphones. I've actually been listening to the Verite open more than ever lately. It's, you know, that unique combination of a really fast dynamic headphone that's exciting while still being laid back. You know, and then you go to the Caldera that has the planar sound, which is extremely fast and a little, little more linear. And then you go all the way to the Atrium, which I classify as ZMF neutral, which really has that, you know, 650, 600 type sound. So hopefully all that info helps you understand kind of how the Caldera might sound. But as with anything, hearing them is definitely the best way to figure out if they're for you or not. And I hope to see you at a show, at a, at a can jam, wherever. And, you know, leave me any questions or comments below and I'll do my best to answer and definitely subscribe to our channel. Thanks.